Welcome back designers. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at my top three reasons for using the appearance panel. I'm also gonna give you a quick review just in case maybe you don't know what the appearance panel is. We'll look at kind of the basic functions of it. And before we get over to that, just real quick, my name is Mike Pickett. I'm a logo and vector designer with nearly 20 years in the design industry. I've designed everything from basic business cards to websites to brochures, logos, pretty much everything that you can design, I've tried at least once. This channel is all about making you a better graphic designer by learning the tools and showing you some of the tips and tricks that I've kind of learned along the way to make the tools work a little better for you. So if this is your first time here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Oh, why did I do this for the subscribe button? So if this is your first time here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. I've got a lot of content already on the channel and much, much more coming over the next year, two years, five years, probably a long time. All right, now like I said at the start, before we actually get into this and I show you kind of my three favorite reasons for using the appearance panel, I wanna give you a quick overview of the appearance panel. So let's hop into Illustrator and then we'll come back and we'll talk about my three favorites. All right, so here we are inside of Illustrator. Now again, this is just kind of a basic overview. We're gonna take a look at the appearance panel before I get into my three favorite things about the appearance panel. This isn't a full-blown tutorial. I'll get into one of those a little bit further down the road where we'll come in and we'll talk about each one of the features a little bit more in depth. So to access the appearance panel, you're gonna go over here to your right-hand toolbar and you're gonna see this circle with the dotted line around it or the dashed line around it. You can also go up to Window and down to Appearance or in my case, Shift F6. Once we open the appearance panel, you're gonna see that nothing is selected right now, so we have no objects on our artboard, which means that we have no stroke, no fill, opacities are default, and the overall opacity is default as well. I can create a shape on the artboard. I'll just go ahead and create an ellipse. And you'll see there's still no stroke or fill because we haven't selected anything. So if I deselect it, there's nothing appearing. Now let's change the stroke. We'll put it up to say a five point stroke. And let's change the fill. We'll select a fill color of red. So this right now, this is what we call my basic appearance. So up here on the top hamburger menu, we have a few different options. We can add a fill just like we just did. We can add a stroke. We can duplicate this item or we can remove an item inside of this panel. So we're not duplicating the circle per se. I go up here and go duplicate item. You see it just duplicated the fill, not the circle. I can remove items, so down here at the bottom, I'm gonna delete the selected fill. I can also duplicate from down here, so if I had this highlighted again, this would allow me to duplicate that. I can clear the appearance on this. Now it's not gonna clear the appearance just on one thing, it's gonna clear the whole appearance and put us back to where we first started. I can add a new fill and a new stroke down here. I can also add effects. So the effects menu here is exactly the same as your effects menu up at the top. That's the basic overview. So let's hop back out and I'll actually talk about my three favorite uses for the appearance panel now. And you're gonna pick up some good knowledge out of this one. So make sure you pay attention, stick around to the very end. Okay, so that's it. You can see pretty easy tool to use, a pretty easy panel, not a lot of functions there until you start adding different effects to your objects or type or whatever it is that you're working on. Then this appearance panel becomes a really powerful tool. Because the reason number one that I think the appearance panel is such a powerful tool is the ability to add more than one stroke, and specifically being able to add more than one stroke on live or editable text. Now working with multiple strokes on live text can allow you to create some pretty wild looking text. You can have multiple strokes with multiple colors to create effects that can make your text look like it belongs in the 60s or just some really wild stylized effects like, say for instance, you can go in and have a dashed line on it. thing that you need to keep in mind here and, and the amazing part of this is that it's all live text. So we've done these effects or we've added these different strokes to it, we can still go in and edit this text. 
Now once you find the style you're looking to achieve, don't forget that you're going to want to drag this over to your graphic styles panel. That way you can use this on future text. You'll also want to make sure you save your new graphic styles before closing out of Illustrator so you just don't lose them all. All right, reason number two, and this one is still a text thing, is being able to add gradients onto your live type. Okay, so I want you to type out some text on your artboard, just anything at all. I'll go ahead and wait. Just let me know when you're done. Got it? Good. Now hit G on your keyboard and swipe your mouse across that text. Nothing's happening, right? You're not getting any gradient of any kind? Okay. Does that mean we can't have gradients on text? Of course not. Let's go over to the appearance panel and we're going to click on the little hamburger menu in the top or we can also click the add new fill down on the bottom of the panel. Now once you've done that, you'll be able to click on the fill box and from here you can select any one of the gradients that are available to you. Don't worry about it at this point, just click on any one. Because the nice thing about this now, it's live editable text with a gradient, but you can also go in and go to your gradient panel and make adjustments to the gradient inside of the gradient panel now. And you've got the gradient working on live text that you can edit whenever you need to. All right, reason number three is being able to edit effects or appearances that you've added to objects and type. Okay, for this one, we're gonna need something on our artboard that's had a few different effects added to it. Perfect. Now, if I wanted to make changes to each of the effects that have been added to this, I can just go up to the effects menu, right? Wrong. This is only gonna give me the very last effect that was added. So maybe we can select the shape and then go to the effects menu and click on one of the effects that we've already added and it'll just allow us to edit it. Uh, again, this is gonna inform us that the action will add another instance of the same effect. So if we wanted to add two drop shadows, this would be perfect, but that's not what we're looking to do. We're looking to be able to edit the current effects. So now, if I go over to the appearance panel, you can see that each of our effects are actually listed inside of the appearance panel. And from here, I can click on any one of the effects in order to be able to make adjustments to it or change the amount, change the effect, change the styling. Anything that I want to do to current effects, I can actually do over here in the appearance panel other than just the most previously or the the most recently added effect. All right, designers, so that's my top three reasons for using the appearance panel inside of Adobe Illustrator. Now, take some time, get to know the appearance panel. It can be one of your most frequently used tools once you know how to use it. It's gonna allow you to do things that you can't do with just the effects menu up at the top of the screen. Okay, designers, that's it for me in this one. I gotta get back to work now, so get out there and design something. I'll see you in the next video.